remember this Würzburg's old castle. And this is the former American hospital on Mönchberg. They are turning it into a very expensive and very elegant apartments. I am doing this video for a group of American GIs who served in Würzburg two decades ago. They recently met in Las Vegas and they got into contact with me. There are a lot of BMWs and Audis and other expensive cars in front of the hospital, the former hospital. So you get an idea who lives here now. I'm walking towards the former main entrance. As you can see, they are still working here. Actually, I would like to live here myself. It's nice. From the back you can see how huge the American hospital is or was. Until 1945, it was a German hospital owned by the Wehrmacht. There were some additional buildings for the hospital. They were pulled down recently and a few new apartment blocks will be erected here. We're now in the former Lincoln housing area. You can still see that a lot of Americans used to live here. Although no more GIs are living here, this looks very much like a gated community. I guess the fence was still was already there when the Americans were living here. I was wrong. The door is open and you can go wherever you want. Inside everything looks fresh and new. They also turned some of the houses into students' apartments and they advertise them and they say that there is a cleaning service which may be useful for some students and that it's only 700 meters to the university campus. We are now approaching the former entrance of Leighton Barracks and as you can see the door is closed so we have to take another route to the new university campus. The entrance has been closed for a long time. As far as I know they closed it after 9-11 and you had to use another entrance. The Protestant Church of Würzburg has bought Leighton Chapel, but they are not planning to use it. Instead, they will tear it down and build a new church. I'm walking now along the security wall that was built after 9-11. They still keep it. 
they only removed the security cameras on the lampposts. Going to and from town you may have used this bus, the number 14. I don't remember the American name of the street that leans into the former Leighton Barracks area. Now students pass it to enter the new university campus. You shouldn't be surprised to see almost no students today. It's Pentecost, a Sunday. At the entrance of the new campus you see the flags of Würzburg University, of Germany and of the European community. Except for adding an escalator, they did not change much on the outside of the buildings. They did a lot of work inside to create new classrooms and offices for university staff. It's quite a peaceful day today and you cannot or can hardly imagine that a few thousand students are going to study here in the near future. The former American schools will also be used for teaching purposes, but they are not now. This will take some time. The former officers' houses are empty. Actually, I don't know what is going to happen with them. The old university and the new one. This ends our stroll through the former American army installations in Würzburg. <laughs>